Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Spiritual Justice Jam. God is Queen and call me Queen. Either one will do. I answer to both. I'm sorry for cutting or reading off last time like that. I didn't mean to. I missed second click the button and it ended it. I'm glad it ended the way it did in a way. Because, baby, they was doing too much of that last reading. They really was. I mean, they really wasn't. But they really... What I was trying to say is... That energy was woo! That sexual energy was off the heezy for sheezy my kneesy. <laughs> it really was. Yes. Um. Somebody, somebody here is severing, severing a gay connection. I don't know why they came out. It's weird, but they did because they're miserable. They feel like it was ridiculous because they have issues. And uh, the other person approved. They, they, you guys. It's a mutual. Uh, um, it's a mutual feeling. Y'all both declined the relationship. It's very highly. Um, it's not nothing about the the sex by any means necessary. There's nothing about that. You you about finished? I'm doing a reading, babe. Why do you have on a jacket? You cold? Okay, go put go go get underneath your blanket. I'm scared to love you. <clears throat> one person is scared to love, and the other one saying be safe because they recognize that this person is scared to love. Um, one of the other when this card come out, kill the monsters. I feel like the other person is telling you the one that's telling you to be safe is like to deal with your whatever issues you're having in the inside. I really do. Because they feel like your monsters is going to eat you alive in this lifetime. Meaning that your monsters is going to keep you from having productive relationships. Um, <clears throat> they do feel warm about you. It's not like, oh, I hate you. You hate me. It's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. They still feel, when I get this warm card, they fit, still feel love for you. They still care for you. But they know it's not working because they're not happy. They still feel love for you. They still care for you. Yeah, somebody... um. Is actually one of y'all or both y'all may still be actually in love with each other, yeah. And but you guys recognize that y'all have a problem, and y'all y'all realize that y'all gotta work on the relationship. Somebody um somebody here is actually not just gay, but. They're bisexual and then now they want to go deal with the opposite sex. So somebody, somebody here is hella confused. Um, not even confused. Uh, let's just see. I, the person that's scared to love you, they feel like they're going to miss out on being straight, if that makes any sense. Um, and they they just saying they love you, but they sneaky linking. Somebody is the person that's scared to love you. They love you because they feel like they're gonna miss out on the opposite sex, and they're sneaking linking with the opposite sex. Yeah, they're sneaky. That's what I'm picking up here. Somebody is sneaky linking with the opposite sex, and this is why they're afraid to love because they feel like they're gonna miss out. They like being with both. Yeah, they're telling the other person to keep it a secret too. They said we have a deal. Yeah, this is why this person want. Does I guess you find out? Let's see. No, no. They they're gonna tell you. They're gonna tell. Well, the way I'm picking up here, they're gonna surprise you and tell you this. They're picking out a location to surprise you and tell you this. It's like you think this person is just gay and they're not. They're actually a bisexual. They feel like they're getting cured. Like some kind of cure. And I did pick up blood. I picked up blood. And cure in a different page. Let's see what this be about. Oh. Because they have family issues. And they need to work on their family issues. That's why they need to. Okay. They, they having family issues. That's why the blood came out in the cure because they feel like they have to go so resolve their family issues, and that's what's becoming to between y'all. That's what they're telling you. That's a lie. Ooh, thank you, spirit. I'm so glad I have a, uh, my spirit guys. I have a, a psychic, a very high connection because that could have went either way. I'm so glad that I listened. Um, 
they 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 really are gonna tell you that it's family issues so they won't hurt you because they really do love you and that they're, they're going to resolve family issues and they're gonna tell you that's the reason why they're breaking up with you they're coming in between you um that your their family is coming in between your relationship and they don't approve of the relationship because they think that this person is straight but it's all a lie the family already know that they're gay they just want to go with the other person that's they want to be in a, a monog uh, non monogamous. Well, how can I say that? Uh, I think it's called a heterosexual relationship. They want to be in a heter they want to be with the opposite sex. That's just what it is. Yeah, and they're restless about this. They don't. Well, the person that's cheating, I don't feel like they really want to cheat, but they really want this person. They love you. They care. Well, they care. Let me put it this way: they care for you. But I don't feel like they need. Is not the situation is not working out. For either one of because neither one of y'all are submitting to each other. I don't think that you guys know how to be in a relationship. Like, it, you, you, both of y'all are miserable. Both of y'all think the relationship is ridiculous. Both of y'all are proof that y'all need to be away from each other. Y'all both are feeling this way. But I don't think neither one of y'all have told each other that y'all feel this way. But this person who's seeing someone else is going to tell you, that's picking a location and a time to tell you that they're breaking up with you because of family issues don't approve of this gay relationship. But that's not the case at all. They're breaking up with you because they want to be in another relationship. They want to be in a relationship with someone one of the opposite sex that's just what's going on here and I like I hate to be the bearer of bad news but that's what I'm picking up here they they want to be with the opposite sex they want to be and they're gonna shoot you this lie or just try to spare your feelings and say that their family doesn't approve of this relationship but what do they know why like, you feel the same way too you feel mute yeah it's a mutual feeling between both of y'all that it's not working out and i don't understand why y'all still together let's see because y'all afraid to hurt each other feelings y'all afraid to submit to each other when you submit to each other that means respect i have respect for this person even if you fall out of love with this person that's what submit means like I respect this person I submit myself to this person because I respect this person I submit myself to this person because I respect and I feel like it's a lack of respect because y'all too afraid to hurt each other feelings sometimes you have to hurt somebody feelings to tell them the truth so you can understand so you can get some clarity because if you're around here just sparing people feelings <coughs> how you gonna get anything done you can be honest with somebody in a, a nice way it don't have to be done rude or wrong you can be nice about it but you don't have to sugarcoat it either you don't have to lie about it and that's what you guys are doing instead of right instead of telling each other the truth you guys are running away if it hurts somebody feel sit with that person and let them know that's not what you're trying to do hold them console them and let you know even if you don't want to be with them be that be a human freaking being and be there with this person and do it in a loving kind way because you guys do really love each other and care for each other it don't have to be no hard feelings and people under don't understand how to break up properly and they go through all these different situations because of the awkward feeling when you have awkward feelings the best thing to do is face them honey that's how you heal anyways if you want to heal anything it's to face the problem and you don't have to be nasty about it you do not have to be nasty about it you can do it in a loving kind way and still get your point across you can still <clears throat> do it in a kind way so that you don't hurt each other <clears throat> yeah y'all want to be away from each other y'all don't really listen to each other and that's what the intimacy i feel like if y'all have a conversation and y'all listen to each other and y'all just be open with each other and intimate with each other you guys will understand what the problem is and i don't even think y'all will break up because it's just y'all don't honor each other y'all don't respect each other enough to tell each other the truth so how do you think your relationship will gonna last i don't know 923 came out on the clock I hope that that might be a um, angel number for somebody. Somebody might need to look that up or go play that number, something like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't telling nobody what to do. I'm just giving you the information. Anywho, <laughs> but um, this is the information I'm picking up here. You guys, I feel like you guys will work out 
pretty well if you guys just was honest with each other. Y'all not being honest. Y'all avoiding the, the, the elephant in the room. And if you want to break up, you can break up in the... I'm telling you, I don't broke up with somebody in a peaceful way. We both were feeling mutually the same way. And it don't have to be, oh, blah, 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 arguing and cussing her. I, don't, I like that. It just didn't work out. Just... That's it. Like we were on two different pages in two different areas of our life. We had grew apart. It's okay to grow apart. What is not okay to do is cheat and lie to each other. That's not okay. I seen ten ten on the clock. So yeah, you guys. I hope that helps. I hope you guys get this together because this situation it's not real real messy, but it's messy enough to like, <laughs> baby. You need some advice to just. You can break up in a kind way. You don't have to go to a pick out location. Y'all stress yourself out with these. I don't understand it. Me, when I want to pick up with somebody, oh, I don't, but this ain't working out. I don't know. If somebody asks me why it ain't working out, well, I need this and this, and you're not providing this and this for me. So, um, and you don't listen to me. And right now, you you huffing and puffing why I'm telling you how I'm feeling instead of trying to fix it and find a solution. That I have always been this person. And... <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys have to have the hard conversation. What are you in a relationship for if you can't have the hard conversations? I don't understand this. This is why, okay, let me not preach. But I hope you guys <laughs> figure this out. I hope you break up in a nice, respectable way if you're going to break up. I guess I hope you guys have this hard conversation that you both are dreading. Love, light, and peace. I'm out, you guys. Yeah.